hard to believe the snow's already falling out west, not to mention those chilly temperatures definitely on the way. OK, we're already asking with that winter weather moving this way. Just how bad is the winter going to be this year? Brad is here with what to expect in the months ahead. Yeah, this is the seventh year in a row. I've done this forecast and it looks very similar to the last couple of years. The main things we look at for this forecast are La Nina, El Nino. What kind of phase are we going to be in this winter? A couple other oscillations, the North Atlantic Oscillation, which is blocking in the Atlantic. These are several indications on what eventually determines this, the primary storm track across the Carolinas. John Wendell has a look at some of the tracks that bring us the heaviest snows. Winters in the Carolinas are usually short, but they can produce some extreme weather, such as ice storms and snowstorms. In early December of 2002, a major ice storm struck the Charlotte area with up to two inches of ice. The ice covered trees, which in turn knocked out power. Some locations didn't have power for more than a week. Here's a situation which gives us those ice storms. What we usually have is a storm system out to the west and one out to the east with colder air in between. What happens is warm moisture rides up over the colder air and that's where the freezing rain forms. Most of the snow is out to the west and rain down to the south. This is a situation for ice storms. A snowstorm is a completely different forecast. Late in the winter of 2004, it was a snowstorm that brought the city to a standstill. One to two feet of snow fell across the area. It was the third largest storm to hit Charlotte. The snowstorm situation usually occurs when a low pressure system forms to the south, usually across the southern states and the low tracks across Georgia in through South Carolina, spreading snow from Georgia right into North Carolina. There's an old saying that if Atlanta gets some snow, Charlotte will get some snow. It's typically the storm system move off to the east, dropping several inches of snow here in the Charlotte area. Last year, Charlotte received six inches of snow with colder than normal temperatures. So even though some winters are snow free, it's always best to be prepared for the extremes. I'm meteorologist John Wendell for News Channel 36. Oh, Thanks, John. Well, here's the averages we see in a normal year all the way back to, uh, since we kept records. The average is 5.7 inches, but for the last 30 years, it's been closer to about four and a half. And if you look over the last 10 years, almost five inches. Now, this is interesting. El Nino winters tend to get a lot of snow and neutral years. That means there's no El Nino or La Nina, but La Nina winters, we tend to get less snow. And right now the La Nina is starting to build, but there's one little monkey wrench in this blocking over the Atlantic kind of shifts the jet stream over the eastern half of the country and forces cold air into our region. So here are the temperatures I'm expecting for the upcoming winter. About a degree, maybe a half degree below average for South Carolina. Once you get to Charlotte North, very similar to last winter, one to two inches below normal, and the really cold weather is going to be up here in the Ohio Valley and parts of the Virginias. Now, rainfall, this is separate from snow. Even though we got a lot of snow last year, we actually were below average with rainfall. I actually expect less of those cold rains that we typically get here in the Carolinas and drought conditions should develop across areas of eastern North Carolina and South Carolina. But snow, you can actually get above average snow with below average rain because snow only piles up to about a tenth of an inch of liquid once you get an inch of snow. So we're looking at above average snowfall from Charlotte North and then back into Tennessee, Kentucky and up into the Ohio Valley. This is where we're going to see a brutal winter across the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley. So here's my bold prediction for Charlotte. Remember, our average is 4.7 inches. I'm going with 6.8 inches, inches of snow, almost 7 inches, which is above average and a little bit above what we got last winter, which was a very snowy winter by all standards. So here's the bottom line. Colder than normal temperatures for December and January, but a quick warm up in February. Above average snow, but actually below average rain and late season. This is something I'm very worried about about once we get to February, March, we could see severe weather breakout. If you remember back to 2008, that was a very similar year to this year. That's when we had that Super Tuesday outbreak that killed 56 people. So something to keep an eye on as we go through the season. Now we have complete details on all these uh, different elements that go into the forecast on my blog and online. We'll be posting that at the end of the show, guys. Fascinating.